What's going on guys? I'm the White Guy. Today we are playing some more Reflex and we're finally bringing it back to this channel. Welcome back Reflex to everybody. Uh, we're checking out a track called Lost SX by It's Kajafi. It's Kajafi, yeah sure, let's go with that. I hope they got the name right. This is the first custom track he's made. It's a pretty neat little track if I do say so myself. And also hopefully everything sounds alright because still kind of sick, you can probably hear that. And got a really like super jank setup right now for recording the commentary on this video if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, we are post commentating this and it's uh, if, oh boy if you can see what I'm doing to get the audio recorded here. It's super friggin jank right now but hopefully everything should ideally work out in the end if we cross our fingers. But today we're just going to take out this track here. It's the first track this guy made so it's pretty neat. And we're also going to be, we might be bringing some Reflex back to the channel, which is probably where, um, I'm, I'm going to guess I put Return of Reflex in the thumbnail, because that just, that just seems like something that's too good to miss to draw most of you guys back in here. Um, if you're new to the channel and you start subscribing from, like, gun stuff and snowmobiling stuff and whatnot, uh, yeah, my channel kind of got started with this whole making custom track reviews on Reflex type deal, which is what you're probably watching right now, or you should just turn this on in the background so you'd like to hear me talk to myself for about 10 minutes at a time. But yeah, depending on how well this video ends up doing, if we get a good amount of views here and you all seem to leave some positive feedback down in the comments, we could try to bring some Reflex back to the channel. And uh, by the way, um, first little topic to discuss here, I'll, I'll talk about the track in a minute, but the, the super jank audio setup I was talking about, uh, I did buy a mic for the snow. If anybody watched those snowmobiling videos, one thank you to, um, I, I, I tried to get a mic set up in there so it would sound better. I'm actually recording this audio on the mic I bought to use for snowmobiling, but when I tried to use it inside my snowmobiling helmet, the engine of the snowmobile just completely washes everything out and you can't hear anything and it was just completely not usable. So, maybe we're just trying it out here to see if you guys do know I did actually buy a mic. Maybe you can sound, hear some sort of a difference between this and the Yeti. I'd certainly hope for the price difference again. But, um, yeah, that's a very jank setup, but I did, I'm trying it out because I'm, I just, we, we gotta see how this ends up working out here. We're gonna do a backflip over the wall, though, he's gonna attempt to do that because we got a backflip all of the walls. At least uh, I, I do, at least when I play this game. And uh, also, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just ready, bracing for impact on a lot of comments and really people complaining about me not being the best player at Reflex ever and dedicating my life to it because I, uh... I literally have not booted up this game in many, many, many months now. We're still gonna, we might be trying to break it back out into the channel to see if how many of you guys are still interested. Cause we're up around 41, 42,000 subscribers right now, which is kind of crazy. And I'm not sure how many of that those gained subscribers is gained from snowmobiling and other stuff versus gained from old Reflex videos. So willing to bet that this video is probably going to perform quite a bit better than most of my other ones. But just, just out of curiosity this should uh, give me a good indication of what the channel status is and if most of you guys want reflex it's getting back into dirt biking season snow starting to go away the snowmobiling season is pretty much over right now by the way uh, all the snow is melting there's lots of dry pavement on you everywhere it's uh there's a little bit left on the trail if we're lucky we might be able to sneak out one more video somewhere but it's going to involve lots of grunting here across concrete which i'm trying not to do on snowmobile anyway dirt bike season's coming back so uh stay tuned it's again it's gonna be not it's not near future. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, we couldn't, couldn't commit to the double backflip. But in the near-ish future, we should be bringing back some more snowmobiling, or no, eh, dirt biking to the channel as the snow goes away, and I may or may not rebuild a garb in the top end of the bike if I can get myself around to do it, because it probably needs to be done super badly. But, uh, yeah, anyway, well, hopefully we can get some more dirt biking videos going up, and then again, you know, like, kind of like how we had to wait a bit for the snowmobiling. If we wait a bit, again, there could be potential for semi-daily and or daily dirt biking type videos going up but that's um that's almost another year away now so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that quite yet but there are some very very big changes that may or may not still be coming to the channel here depending on how everything pans out hopefully that ends up working out in a way that most of you guys can enjoy i feel like that'd be a neat thing to have and now that we're about four minutes and 30 seconds into the video here I would say that it is time to discuss the track. So this is uh, Lost Supercross. It's a nice little like, backwoods setting in the track here. I kind of like this. Not the easiest track in the world to get through, which is kind of neat because it's a bit of a challenge like tire tap everything just right and you have to nail all the rhythms or you just get really slow lap times. I like the little whoop section right there. You step over and like I've got all the audio synced up correctly. So I, I apologize again in advance. I think we landed a backflip over the... Nope, not that time. I think we're going for a hot lap right now. But um, 
Yeah, so I'm going to apologize in advance if the audio is not perfectly synced up and what I'm saying is sort of out of time because, again, yeah, this, that super jank setup is, may or may not work out well. We'll figure that out in a bit here. Let's see, let's bump on over that. There we go. I'm going to hook a right-hander. Yeah, I think we're going to launch that triple probably takes it a little bit. I, I don't know if you're supposed to triple thought or just double tire tap step on type deal. I can't really figure that one out. Working on it, trying to backflip that, probably not working out so well. It's going to be hilarious. This is all out of timing and everybody's going to get confused. But I, th I think I should be able to get this synced up fairly well based on how I set it up to start recording here. Uh, let's see, let's get back. I think we're entering a sand section right now. We should have just entered a sand section if I synced it up correctly. Using a couple of bumps in there to keep it going anymore. Let's just do the usual reflex thing of lean back and pull full throttle through any sort of bumpy section. That would be the finish line jump. You can throw a butt whip over it and then... That triple, you've got to go wide on time at just right, and there's a step on, step off. And I like this little, there's a little tire tap there, you got to hit that just right to be able to actually clear that triple smoothly, which is neat. It's not just a full throttle leading back track, there actually is some strategy involved on the other track like this. I, I do like it, you did a pretty good job putting this together. I think, nope, we're not going for the backflip over the wall this time. I know somewhere in here I know I did a backflip over the wall and made it, I swear I did. Also, a uh, shout out to the Inverted Gear and Bike Graphics. You can actually buy both of those. If you go to inverted.com in real life, you can actually buy that gear and graphics kit in real life. And the neat thing is, if you head over to their website, I think they used my graphics kit as their stock image for the Galaxy Kit on their site, which is kind of neat. It stays there. Anyway, we're going to tire tap that. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how it seems to work out to be the fastest. So you tire tap and step on, step off, step on, step off. And you gotta tire tap that one again right there. Try and get that triple, which again is very difficult to time that just right. And I was just like, screw it, let's try and do it back to it because this lap's already pretty much blown out anyway. And we have to come around back through the sand again one more time. And just kind of wheelie through there, hit the left hander, and then we're gonna hop up, and then we're gonna hop up one more time, and over the finish line. Nice, solid 116, that's a new lap time. And we're not gonna make a triple, unfortunately, which is. Yeah, that's, a, that's not a good event to have happening here. No hook on a right-hander, probably bump off of that. And then triple, it looks like. And I'm honestly starting to feel like it's painful just to try and commentate these laps right now. So maybe we'd start talking about some other stuff. Uh, I'd like to see, how, how are you guys doing? Is everybody down there in the comments having a nice day? How's everything going for all you guys? Let me know down there in the comments. I'd be interested to hear what you all are up to. Hopefully everybody's doing all right. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday, anybody watching, all that kind of stuff, I don't know, we, need, we should, should get some sort of topic to going down there in the comments. I actually do wonder, if any of you guys, how are you guys doing in Fantasy Supercross? Anybody, like, anybody got anything good going on there? Because I have, uh, I have a, I, I'm going to be honest, I haven't been tuning into Supercross Season 2 much this year, unfortunately, because I don't really have a way to get to it right now, and then I, I try and watch the back of races and stuff, it's spoiled. I, I think somebody somewhere... Having seen it, none of the races so far, but only you're here. I'm going to guess somebody won an unexpected win. Somebody probably crashed pretty hard and is out of the season. Somebody else went a bit faster and had a nice pass. And there's probably some drama about a block pass that happened. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments, which would be interesting to figure out if I was right or not. But anyway, we're going to have a little tire tap right there. There we go. It's a very neat little track by it's Kajafi. I gotta, I'm going to try and get, start getting people's names in these videos more if I do them. Because I, I feel bad going back in the past. A couple of the videos, like, I, I don't know. I can't plan like that. Quest for the Quad video I had just freaking exploded. It's over, it's getting close to 2 million views now, which is nuts. It's like what, either 1.8 or 1.9 million views on it now, which is just absurd. I had no idea that was going to happen. Did not know how to plan for it. I don't even know if I said the guy's name in the video, which is why I feel bad, because there's like a couple of these videos just blew up for no reason that I can really understand other than maybe some thumbnail magic with the Quest for the Quad one. And I've just got so many people's views, and I feel bad for it. Like, oh, the one video I have that shoots off to the moon, I completely forgot to say your name, and just, I feel so bad. So this is by It's Kajafi over on the Reflex Central. I, I was going to originally have like two or three videos recorded in the session to put up, but then... Like, there's a um, bunch of replica, quote-unquote, Supercross tracks out from the 2017 season on there by one guy, and then I read the comments on them, and there's apparently some super big drama going on without I completely missed. So in the interest of not getting wrapped up in reflex MX Simulator gaming drama, serious business stuff, I'm probably going to go ahead and avoid those, um, those replica tracks and just not, not deal with them and getting yelled at by people in the community of cancer and just... I, I don't know, there's always usually some sort of drama going on in little 
Moto Gaming community, as people like to say, and I kind of try and keep myself removed for that, from that to, I don't know, I just don't see reason to get involved in that. I don't, I don't like dealing with all that drama crap, people arguing at each other. It's just, it's not worth it to me. I'd rather just, you know, go about life one day at a time, have a good time. And we're going to switch over to the first person camera now. It's a very interesting transition from a mildly serious topic to a video game. But yeah, we're going to hop over to the first person camera again. We're going to screw up a tire tapping pretty bad here. That is just, oh, that is just atrocious right there. That is, oh, we got actually got the rear tire tap. We're going to get the whip glitch in. Yes, we did. That's how you're supposed to clear that section, I think. But if you do cut that corner too closely, you do get reset, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But there's not really too much you can do about that. You just got to kind of move on with it and take your beatings as they go or take your lickings or whatever, whatever that phrase is of speech. Yes, phrases of speech. Very complicated concept here. But I think we're about coming up to the end of the video here. It should be around 11 minutes in now if I got everything synced up right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more reflex in the comments. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.